every day. A man knows that his life depends on the forest. And this has been made known to us. We know that the whole world depends on the forest. That is why we are tied to it. We can never compromise with anybody coming to use our forest indiscriminately. Itan Nelson is the head of one of the communities in Cross River State, Nigeria's most southern state. Nigeria has one of the highest deforestation rates in the world, with less than 12% of the country forested. The key culprits are agriculture, both smallholder and commercial, fuel wood harvesting, unsustainable and illegal logging, oil and mineral exploration, and infrastructure development. Since 2010, the UN RED program has provided valuable support for the country's ambitious efforts at forest conservation, climate change mitigation, and community development. In particular, Cross River State, which has more than 50% of Nigeria's remaining tropical high forests, is host to a community-based RED Plus program, CBR Plus. This program promotes activities to reduce poverty and improve crop varieties and yields in order to reduce pressure on the forest. It also supports mangrove restoration, sustainable agroforestry techniques, and community forest management efforts. To date, more than 300 households across 21 communities in Cross River State have benefited from the program. The CBR Plus program, a partnership between the UN Red Program and the Small Grants Program of the Global Environment Fund, GEF, has provided a total of 3.5 million US dollars to support different community initiatives in six pilot countries. The Red Plus Program is actually a climate change mitigation effort. The goals of the program are to sustainably manage our forests, to give benefits like ecosystem services, to clean the earth for man's survival, and to help nations. Through the community-based Red Plus program, villagers like those in EcoSI have improved the sustainable management of their community forests. They did so through developing forest management plans and through reforestation efforts. The CBR Plus program introduced agroforestry techniques for cocoa production so that they can cultivate cocoa in a sustainable way and with an increased productivity that will increase household income in some target communities. Cocoa agroforestry, the people had introduced a new system of cocoa production and it had increased their yield it has increased their uh, product because of the knowledge they had from agrofarm. Also, the CBR Plus program provided the villagers with tools to improve the processing of cassava. To protect the forest from logging and firewood harvesting, the project has partnered with the Cross River National Parks to revive the forest management groups and train forest guards. These guards are empowered to enforce community bylaws in order to conserve and protect the forest. Whereas Nigeria has one of the highest deforestation rates in the world, it also has the largest mangrove ecosystem in Africa. Those mangroves are also under attack. But through the community-based Red Plus program in place, CBR Plus, the communities can rehabilitate the mangrove forests. In Eserebo, all households catch fish. All households in this community use mangrove as their source of energy. But from 2007 downwards especially, focus on the mangroves became very keen in Cross River State because it provides protection to coastal areas from flooding. We started having cases of flooding with mangrove loss. Fish catches were going down. We had a survey in the community and it was like 80% of us are fishermen, but we have lost over 70% of our income in 10 years. And we could link that to the rate of mangrove loss. 
As part of the CBR Plus mangrove restoration project, the community has planted over 10,000 mangrove seedlings and developed a community mangrove management plan, which means that they now only cut mangrove wood in controlled areas and make sure to raise seedlings and replant. Besides providing the seedlings, the CBR Plus mangrove restoration project also has other forms of assistance. We are also assisting the mangrove dwelling communities to stop the cutting down of the mangrove to use as firewood. And so in those areas, we provide the cook stoves that will enable them to use the stove that would require very little amount of firewood to cook their meals. Are we good to go? Good to go, good to go, good to go, sir. At the end of the day, it's a common goal, common vision that we have a natural resource that meets our needs and we need to protect and communities need to take leadership of protecting this. And we're achieving this gratefully. I want to use a quote from one of the communities that he who eats and remains is sure of the next meal, which is a traditional adage that demonstrates our understanding of what sustainable development is about. And that is what Red Plus has come to highlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah.